And the Kenya Highlands University in Kericho County says it has complied with all the government protocols aimed at curbing COVID-19 spread, effectively paving way for its reopening next month. The University Vice Chancellor Professor Wilson Kipngeno disclosed that the institution has received the green light to admit learners and is set to receive at least 600 first-year students in September. Nancy Okwari tells us more. The management of the Kenya Highlands University in Kericho County says it is now ready to admit first-year students in September 2020. Indeed, the institution says it has complied with all government directives on social distancing amid COVID-19 outbreak. A walk around the campus and safety guidelines for learners are encrypted on walls, such as donning of masks and maintaining a 1.5-meter distance. Another two of the classroom tells a similar story, that of an institution gearing up to host learners during this crisis period. The seats have been spaced out with demarcation on the floor to guide the learners on the seating arrangements. The university's vice chancellor, Professor Wilson Kipgeno, says that the institution is ready to admit the first batch of its first year students. We are able to bring in and keep the 250 students here on campus. We have also discussed and arrived at an agreement between us and Kericho High School. You know Kericho High School is just a neighboring school. Now they, we can put 320 students at Kericho High School and then here 250 comfortably. So we will be able to bring all first tiers if we arrange so that we can use Kericho High School. The university is also set to recall some of the fourth year students in different faculties to sit for their examinations. There was a first group that of, uh, consists of 49 students that were pursuing the certificate in, uh, in IT. So they, have just, they will come here for the first two weeks. They will finish what they had not finished in the, in, in the first week. And then the second week they do exams. And then we bring our four tiers, that were 122, who had finished everything, but they are coming here only to do the exam. Meanwhile, the University of Embu made history after holding student council elections online. Professor Daniel Mugende, University of Embu vice chancellor, said the institution chose to do online elections in order to avoid student leadership vacuum as the outgoing student council period lapsed. The University DVC, Professor Kiplagat Kotut, saying that the institution had also resulted to undertake online learning in all courses owing to inadequate infrastructure to cater for learners during this COVID-19 pandemic, an undertaking set to come at an extra cost. Online teaching will require that you invest more in terms of, uh, you know, bandwidth. That means that as an university, we have to increase our bandwidth because it really consumes. Remember, you're doing video conferencing, you're doing video meetings, that means that now, because we expect people to work from home, we have to think about where they are and in terms of air time. We need to facilitate the staff to be able to interact with the students continuously. Otherwise, they'll be reluctant. Kotut appealed to the government to boost universities in procuring the required infrastructure for online learning. Nancy Okware, Channel One News.